So this is how you um, get into the course website for Philosophy 449 and uh, do a post for the blog posts. If you go to our course website at blogs.ebc.ca slash PHIL449, then you see this. Scroll down to the meta section and go to log in. So that'll eventually get you to this site, UBC Blogs. And actually, what if you if you don't have a um, an account on UBC Blogs yet, it won't take you to exactly what you see here. It will take you to a page that, that requires you to sign up for an account on UBC Blogs. I've already got one. It's got my full name here. Um, you can choose to make your blog posts anonymous by creating a username that is not tied to your real name because what's going to show up on the post is actually your username so when you write a post i don't think i can control this i i have tried in one way or another and i haven't been able to um, it's going to show up with your username not not your full name but the username that you choose for ubc blogs which is mine is christina hendrix um, so if you don't want to post with your real name, when you sign up with UBC Blogs, choose a username that's not related to your real name. Then um, once you've done that, uh, you should already be connected to this site as an author if I have sent you an email saying that I have got your student number and I have put you as an author onto the site. And when that happens, when you go to my sites, you should see you probably won't have this many sites, uh, fill 449. You can go straight to dashboard or new post. Um, I'll go to dashboard just to show you that. So the dashboard is just um, the sort of back end of the site. And since you are, your particular role will be author, which allows you to write and edit and delete your own posts, um, but not anybody else's, I'm not sure if you're going to see all of this stuff over here on the left. I'm not sure exactly what you're going to see, though you will at least see the option to do a post. So go to the left, go to add new, or click on, go to posts, go to add new. And this is what you shall see. Add new post, title, type in something. So this is just going to be some simple test post, blah, blah, blah. Um, this allows you to make things bold and some more blah, uh, italics, etc. right? You can sort of figure out most of this stuff. Then the uh, other important stuff is that if you want to save it as you're going along, you can do save draft and that doesn't publish it yet. It just saves a draft that you could work on later. Um, the visibility section over here on the right, right now it's at public. That means anybody in the world who comes to the site can see it. You can click edit. You can choose password protected. If you want your post to only be seen by other people in the course, I will create a course password and I will give it to everybody in the course. I'm not going to say it here, obviously. Um, and then only people in the course who have that password be able to see it. If you want to, you could make your post private, which would be only you and I, because I'm the site administrator, could see it and nobody else. Um, it wouldn't even show up on the site. When, when you do password protected, it shows up on the site, but it says you need a password to see this post. If you do private, you won't, nothing will show up on the site. Um, you can certainly do that if you choose. It will be more difficult for other people to make comments. Um, in fact, it will be impossible for other people to make comments on your post if it is private. So I recommend um, not doing that if possible, though if, if you really are concerned about it, do talk to me, okay? Because you do have the option of publishing uh, anonymously through a pseudonym if you choose a username on UBC blogs that is not related to your name, or you can do it password protected and, or you can do it password protected so that it's only for uh, other people in the course. So choose whichever one of those you're going to do. Uh, you can preview the post. It's, uh, this one is not particularly interesting, obviously. Yeah, test, blah, blah, blah. Um, the next thing that I'd like you to do is to pick a category. So let's say this one is on Nietzsche, which it's not. Um, choose, you know, Nietzsche or Foucault. I might 
create some other categories. And then if you want to, it would be useful to make it uh, more easily findable to also give it a tag. Now, a category is something that, um, well, it's sort of hard to explain the difference between categories and tags, but the way I think about them is with categories, I put all posts that are about some general thing like Nietzsche for Co into one category. And then tags are things that, that could relate to multiple categories. So genealogy, um, history could be on either Foucault or Nietzsche. I tend to think of tags as a little bit more specific. So, um, you know, it might be something about Treatise One or, you know, from the genealogy. It's really up to you. You can create your own tags. Uh, I'm not going to actually put this under Nietzsche. I'll put it under Uncategorized. And then when you are ready, hit Publish. Now, this puts it on the site. That doesn't mean you can't go back and edit it later because if you log out, log back in, you can go to All Posts and you can find it. There it is, test post. You can go back and edit it. You can trash it. You can do whatever you want, only with your own posts. Um, you won't be able to edit anybody else's posts on the site. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, what you can then do is go to the top fill 449 and visit site. And where these show up is under blog posts because the home page is just a static page. But if you go to blog posts, that's where all the blog posts show up. So that should be right here. There it is, test posts and my earlier announcement post that I put up the other day. So yeah, I think that's it to log out. Let me see if there's, is there anything else I need to show you? Let me go to the dashboard just real quick. Before I quit here, no, I don't think so. I think that's it. All right, so to log out, you go to the top right, log out, and you are finished. If I think of anything else, I will let you know.